What's up, guys? Okay. 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 Hi. I got to read it. Oh, come on. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Well, I, sh I had a video. There goes some more chips. Well, I had a video of me opening up my first MTB. And well, sometimes, somehow it got deleted. And I got a whole lot of stuff from over. So, this video might be like out of this world. Because I'm going to be going through some stuff. Alright. Give me a minute. Can you guys see up there? Not really. Let me turn the light. Right there is what I got. This is like my bait wall. It has that right there. It's a big old bass. And then it's got that big old bass. I found a mystery tack box, panfish, and trout. Now, that was the only one that I could find, so I couldn't get any other one. And we have, we got these. These are some slab runner, like baby shad, a crystal reaper thing, crappie jigs, a yozerky fish, the best little crankbait thing, a rebel grasshopper crankbait, then these gamma scud, like, um, uh, they're like little silver fish. So today we're going to be going over it, okay? And then we also got some other stuff too, so. We'll get to that, but. Okay. Uh, we did get this right here. This is my old knife. Now, I could not find this thing for a while, so I'm pretty surprised that I found that I found it. And then I got a metal detector back over there. You guys might, might have seen my last video. And then we have a face mask. Not, no, not a KG one. But first off, we got this. This is... 700 yards of 12 pound Omniflex line. Ouch. And then here, let's get on to this. We got these right here. These are the Gamma Scud, like, um, silverfish. Right here is what they look like. They're white and they, they pretty much look like silverfish. There it was. Eight of them. Yeah. And then we got, this was one of the Slab Runner Shad, like Baby Shad. It came with a plastic one, and then it had one with the hook. This is the plastic one. Can you see that pretty good? Okay, and then I got something else. And my took, I got like 30 bucks instead of 20, 20, or 25. So I just went Rambo, and I bought some bunch of random stuff for future YouTube videos, of course. And you guys might be like, well, what'd you get? Well, my total got to about $30.87, and my receipt's down there, and it uh, there's a receipt and 11 cents, which I don't think we're going to show that, but we got these Ozark Trail. When did they start making um, fishing lures? But we got these Ozark Trail sinker sticks, as you can see right there, and then I guess it's called bluegill or something. That's the color. I mean... It says bluegill on here, and then it tells you back here how to Texas rig, which I already know, and how to wacky one. I already know that too. Then we got these Zoom Super Salt plus the Fluke Baby Bass. They're like baby bass, shad, or minnows, or something like that. And then we got these Yum Grubs right here. And then you guys might be like, Jacob, those those seem pretty expensive, aren't they? Like two, three dollars? Yeah, if you got them from like right here's a hole, so they like they can hang like this. On the shelf, and they're like two, three bucks. I looked, I was looking in these boxes where it said a dollar ninety six or ninety seven for stuff. I seen little crankbaits. I seen those one dollar spinner baits that I have one of, and then I came upon all these, a big a range of them. There was grubs, lizards, worms. So I just turned around, reached my hand in there, grabbed something, pulled it out, and it happened to be these grubs. So I just bought them. Okay, now. Let's get into some more stuff that I got. Okay, now these silverfish we got from the Mystery Tackle Box. This Slab Runner Shad we got from the Mystery Tackle Box. Now this is Panfish and Trout, which Panfish, that's like crappie, bluegill, sunfish, stuff like that. And then Trout, you guys should already know what Trout are. If not, go ahead and look that up. But we have these poppers here. Now that did not come from the Mystery Tackle Box. But these did. I'm just joking. These are my jigs. But these did. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. These are Nitro Gems Nitro Bait. Not for human consumption or whatever. They're like little pink like fish pellets or something. 
And they came with 10 of these crappie jigs. Now, you guys might be like, Jacob, why are you doing that? Maybe because, well, maybe you can't see it because, well, that orange right there, maybe it blends up. Not really. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. But those came f from the mystery tack box, and then we got these. Oh, yeah. Look. I put these two on. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, right there's Carl, and right there's another Carl. That's on my top water box. Not all of the stuff in here is really top water. No, 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 no. Okay, we, we're good. This is my $1 spinner bait that I got before. I'm doing it again. And then this is the frog that my friend gave me. Thanks to him, I got a frog. Then we have this right here. Oh, God. These two right here. These are my two normal crankbaits. And then we have this one right here. This is... This is one of those, like, $1 crankbaits that you can get from there. Okay? Then I got this. This is a grasshopper, which, if I grab this very gently and shake it, you can hear that. And then we have this. This is the smallest crankbait I have. <laughs> it's literally tiny. Ow. I need to put new treble hooks on my crankbait. Okay, now this is came with that baby shad. It's this right here. It has like these two little fork things and like a spoon or whatever. And then it's got a head right there. And then this is where the shad comes. You can take the shad off, but I'm going to leave it there because that looks good. And let me, I have this. I honestly have no idea what this is, but that's that like crystal reaper vexen thing. It has two hooks right here. And then it's got a treble hook and it says it can glow. So I'm guessing that's what the green thing is on the side there. Now wait, there's more, son. There is way more. Oh, if I can stretch out my legs. Oh, like it feels like I haven't walked in a month. We got this. You guys might just take it. That's just a box. No, it's not. If it'll focus. There we go. Mystery tackle box. Barely even fits on camera. Now it does. And, well, it says mystery tackle box there. Oh, God. Come on, camera. Come on. There we go. And then it says this. A buffet of baits every month. Carl, chief fish officer... And guy on the logo. Okay. Now it says this on the side. It says happiness in a box. Carl, chief fishing officer, guy in the logo. Show you that side too. And then right here. Oh, wait. What's that say? Share your mystery tackle box experience. Hashtag mystery tackle box. Then there's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Which I have these two. Instagram and YouTube. I think I have Facebook too. I'm not really sure. Okay. But if we open this up. Da -da -da -da. This is like a ruler for what you catch with your MTB. Oh, inside it says catch and win. First, catch a, a fish using one of the baits in this box. Measure, use the ruler below to see if you have a keeper, and share. Share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag MTB Keeper. Okay. Shop and save with Carl. That was loud. Amazing outdoor items with amazing savings. Panfish, they have to be 6 inches or bigger to keep. Trout, six, 12 inches or bigger to keep. Bass, 14 inches or bigger to keep. Walleye, 16 inches to keep. Everything else, 18 inches. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then you just fold it back up. And then, oh, God. Didn't it close that side yet? Now, did I, huh? No, I didn't. Ouch. I'm hurting myself. Now, I was going to get the uh, Zoom, like, pink, like, pink swim baits, but they were, like, $3. And Kendall Gray already used that for breast cancer awareness day thing. Okay, but we got some real good news. You know how I usually, I just had this right here, this freaking little bluegill pole, and it has about six or eight pound line on it and it's a very small hook. Well, I got I got something new, son. You know how I had a catfish set up and a and a bass set up? Well right here we got a bass set up right here. It's got this bass hook right here. You guys see it now? And it has twelve pound line on it. So now I can go fishing son. But I don't think I'm gonna go fishing like for the rest of the year because well it's cold outside. And then this is my catfish setup. I actually did not put 
15 pound line on it because I heard you can get you can get away with 12 pound line for catfish but right there we just got a hook and then I heard that catfish don't really care like what you have so I put a bobber on it this bobber I got there for, for like two bucks that's expensive son especially for one bobber oh my gosh phone ringing what the heck it's my mom I gotta answer okay I'm back well, um, what else did I want to show you? Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, there was really nothing much. I'm getting tired. It's nighttime. Oh, maybe I could show you this. Oh, oh, don't, you don't need to see that. Okay, I'm just joking. This is a banjo fishing system thing. As you can see, there's swim baits on there. I will read every single one of them to you. There's a pink shad, dark blue shad, clear black pepper shad, blue black pepper shad, chartreuse shad, rainbow shad, black silver shad. I actually have that one. A silver shiner, emerald shiner. I think I have an emerald shiner. A golden shiner. I have a golden shiner. Purple blue shad, glow shad, black and red shad, red smoke shad, natural perch, natural shad, rainbow trout, fire tiger. What kind of freaking names are those? Now we got plastic frogs. Silver shiner, emerald shiner, golden shiner, copper sand, light blue pepper, avocado frog, lime green, black silver, brown yellow chartreuse, green pearl, root beer chartreuse, purple smoke, desert storm, root beer, glow frog. Come on. And then we have these giant swim baits. For all fresh and saltwater species of fish. Got rainbow trout, silver shiner, emerald shiner, fire tiger, blue mackerel or something, natural shad, green mackerel again. And then natural perch. That's about it. Okay. So guys, yeah, that's what I got inside my MTB. It was a little bit longer whenever I did make that video. It was like 29 minutes. But now it's only 12 minutes. So I'll see you guys in the next one.